Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Andrew, it certainly feels like fall this week. Absolutely. It's a cooler stretch, uh, a lot more so than we were dealing with last week. Mm -hmm. We were kind of spoiled with that little taste of summer late in the season, the 80s. This week we're talking 50s. We have clouds and showers, so not the nicest weather, but kind of a little reality check setting in that we are coming up on mid-October. We're certainly well into the season of fall at this point. Checking in on our foliage, some of the highest elevations now pushing past peak. We just updated our foliage tracker yesterday, so I want to take you through some of our zooms here. Northern New York, the Adirondack Park still looking pretty good, especially at the lower elevation points like Lake Placid, but you go up a couple thousand feet to say Whiteface Mountain or Mount Marcy pushing past peak. Still seeing some moderate color though into the St. Lawrence River Valley and continuing off to the east here into the Champlain Valley. Yes, there's been some leaves that have fallen, but still expecting some improvement for these areas over the next week or two. Into the Northeast Kingdom, spanning south and west from there into central Vermont. Still a lot of peak color, but you go up again a couple thousand feet or so. Areas like Greensboro, uh, uh, Jay Peak, Mount Mansfield, definitely pushing past peak there. And then checking in on southern Vermont. There's a lot of moderate to peak color still at this point, but the high elevation points like Killington Peak over towards, say, Stratton and Mount Snow going up a couple thousand feet, certainly losing some leaves and pushing past peak conditions at this point. So speaking of Stratton Mountain, checking out the live cam shot, there's lots of beautiful yellows, oranges, and reds towards the base of the mountain, but you go up higher, you can see entering stick season, a lot of leaves falling off the trees at this point. 58 degrees, certainly a cool afternoon taking shape and stuck in the clouds right now. Do have some upper 40s towards the Adirondack Park, 49 in Tupper Lake of 48 at the base of Whiteface. 58 though for Burlington into the Northeast Kingdom. We have some lower 50s, 52 right now, the temperature in Danville. Southern Vermont low to mid 50s is the case as well. So we have this big swirl and upper level low pressure system still off to our north and west that's bringing in the clouds, the cool temperatures and the showers are especially out towards the St. Lawrence Valley. We are tracking a few of them into Grafton County of New Hampshire as well. But zooming in here into St. Lawrence County have some showers towards Gouverneur and towards Potsdam and Messina, but especially right towards the St. Lawrence River uh, towards Brockville have some steadier showers right now. Even Malone's been getting a few sprinkles, but overall pretty cloudy across the North Country right now. Vermont, you're mostly cloudy with a few peaks of sun, but some showers coming into Grafton County of New Hampshire, even a few wet snowflakes at the summit locations as well. So the rest of this afternoon, it's a mostly cloudy sky. The best chance for showers is out towards St. Lawrence County. But as we move ahead into tonight, we still keep the clouds around. And then through the day tomorrow, it certainly is a mostly cloudy sky from start to finish. Again, northern New York, possibly into the northern Champlain Valley, will be dealing with the showers by the afternoon tomorrow. And then continuing into Thursday, we still have a blend of sun and clouds out there. But the upper level low starts to move a little more directly closer to us. So the spotty shower chance becomes just a little more widespread as we go through the day. The good news is, though, heading into Friday, we start to clear things out. We have a little bit of a brighter day. So here's how much rain we're expecting. It's especially um, the highest towards the St. Lawrence Valley, perhaps a quarter to a half inch towards Messina, about a tenth or two of an inch towards Saranac Lake, Plattsburgh, and Newport. So the story is the next few days, the further north and west you are, the best chance you see any showers, but no significant rain expected for from those either. So the rest of this afternoon, it's a spot shower chance, mostly cloudy. Showers to the northwest again tomorrow, lots of clouds, a few hit or miss showers for Thursday. Again, Friday, kind of the brightest day of the next several. And then this weekend, looks like some showers come in late, especially if you're to the south. Some lingering shower chances for Sunday and Monday, but we start to dry out towards the mid part of next week. Liz?